Moving on, uh, next model is Brewer and Nash model. It is also known as Chinese wall model or ethical wall model or cone of silence. So in the exam, if you see any of these terms, Brewer and Nash, Chinese wall, ethical wall, cone of silence, they all mean one and the same thing. Okay, so don't get confused. It is also based on information flow model. Like I had said earlier, if you remember, information flow model is about controlling how the information flows to make sure that the system remains secure. And it says that no information can flow between subjects and objects that would result in a conflict of interest. So conflict of interest here is the key word that you must remember for the exam. If the exam gives you a question about a security model and it is talking about avoiding the conflict of interest, then most likely the answer would be Brewer and Nash model. Okay. So what do I mean by conflict of interest or, or how the, what, what exactly does it mean when I say that no information can flow between subjects and objects that would result in a conflict of interest. Okay. Let me explain that. So uh, Bruin and Nash model says that the access control should change dynamically depending on users previous actions. So let's take an example. Let's say there is a company and in that company, there is an employee. Now that employee has got access to the data of two customers, customer one and customer two. Now customer one and two are competitors of each other. All right. But this employee of the company has got access to the data of both the companies of both the customers, customer one and customer two. Now it is possible that the, that, that employee may access data of customer one and use that information against customer one by providing that data to customer two, because now that customer two is a competitor of customer one, that customer two can use the data given by the employee on customer one and use it against customer one, right? So that is where the conflict of interest comes because now that company that I was telling you about has got access to the data of both the customers, customer one and customer two, and they are competitors of each other. So when they want to avoid this conflict of interest, what they, they could implement this Brewer and Nash model. And the way it will work is when the employee accesses the data of customer one, then the access control model will make sure that the access control changes dynamically. And then that same employee will not be able to access the data of customer two because that employee just accessed the data of customer one and customer two is the competitor of customer one. So the access control model will make sure that that employee now cannot access data of customer two at the same time because then that data can be misused. Similarly, if that employee were to access the data of customer two first, then the access control model would change dynamically and then the access control model would block the access of employee to customer one's data. Okay. That is the goal of Brewer and Nash model. That is to avoid, uh, that is to avoid any conflict of interest and it changes, uh, it changes the access control dynamically depending on users previous actions. Okay. Like it says here, for example, an employee of company one should not be able to look at the data of both its customers, company two and company three at the same time, if both those companies are competitors. And if there is a chance that the information can be used by the employee to favor one company over the other. So if the employee accesses data of company two then controls should automatically block his access for data of company three. Okay.